The third characteristic is this. We encourage. We encourage. Thankfully, this one doesn't need a lot of comment. Do you encourage? Are people encouraged when you walk away? Or are they not? Well, that's not my wiring. You can take your wiring... And surrender it to the will of God. (laughs) Amen? Amen. I mean, we're supposed to encourage each other according to our wiring. We're not supposed to go, well, that's not my personality, so I'm not an encourager. No, no. It is the kingdom, father, ethos to be an encourager. Period. It's not for graduate level Christians. It's for every one of us in the kingdom to live out. We are encouragers. Some of us do that quietly. Some of us do that very demonstratively. Some of us do that with great hugs and affirmation. And some of us, you know, write a little, hello, so you're so special. (laughs) It doesn't matter how you're wired. We use how we're wired for the greater good of the kingdom of God. And we stop making excuses for discouraging the people around us. It's not okay. It is not okay to leave a conversation And then somebody will go, well, my encouragement's a little more complicated because I'm a truth teller. So sometimes people have to really hurt. That's my encouragement. That's not encouraging. It's just not encouraging. In a minute, we'll talk about, you know, urging. And maybe, you know, you do a lot of urging. But don't forget to do some encouragement. You can urge people forward, but don't forget to encourage Because I don't know about you, and isn't it interesting that in the list, urging comes at the end after comforting, encouraging, then you can urge somebody. You get them all comforted and encouraged, they'll let you urge. (laughs) Amen? You hit them over the head with urge, you can never again comfort and encourage them. That's the truth. That's just truth, (laughs) I think. (laughs) We're supposed to encourage. And, and, And then number four, we're supposed to comfort. Again, it doesn't need a lot of explanation. Do you, are you comforting? Do people, are people comforted when you leave the conversation, when you leave the room? Because you know what? If you, if you are a person who has decided that you will not be a burden and that you will seek after this righteousness, this holy, righteous, blameless kind of living, and you'll be an encourager and you'll be comforting, guess what? People will seek to be with you. They will seek to to talk to you. They will seek to be in conversation with you because every one of us longs for the Father Kingdom ethos. Every one of us longs for the protector. Every one of us longs for the encouragement. Every one of us longs for the love. Amen? Amen. And we wish we had more people like that in our lives. But we're not supposed to go look for it. We're supposed to be it. We are called to be these people. 